So you're gonna find a really long band to use on this one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, put it around our body. We're looking to go above the pelvis, but we're looking to go kind of at the bottom of that rib cage. So what you're gonna do is lean back and you're gonna pick a side to go ahead and step back with that foot. As we're stepping back with that foot, our goal on this exercise is to bring that whole entire body side back, shift, with our rib cage, shift into that back hip and sit, and then come forward. So again, we're gonna step back with one side. As we do it, we also wanna shift and twist our torso, so you can feel the band really cut into that bottom side of that rib cage as we do it. You're gonna try to accept most of the weight through here. You are gonna be pulling and really having to stabilize with that front leg, and that's okay because what you're gonna be feeling is a little rotation in that spine occurring. So you can see it from the other side. What we're gonna do is step back with, that right, with the right foot this time. As we step back with that right foot, we're really gonna to try to twist with that torso again. Try to step back into that back hip as much as you can. This front hip is going to be preventing you from falling forward and that's fine. What you're really going for here is making sure we're getting some torso turn. If you're doing this appropriately, you're gonna feel the muscles kick in in that front leg, the back hip as we set some weight into the back hip. That would be my right side here. But you're also gonna be feeling the band cutting into my torso on that right part of the rib cage.